Hey Jackals, if you're using DaVinci Resolve and you're into lip syncing, this video is for you. Now I didn't think it was possible to make automatic lip syncing easier, but it is. And I'll show you how. Now let's get digital. Last time I showed you how to do the automatic lip sync using Olasaurus, but today we'll be using Rhubarb. Why is this the name of a plant? No idea. But to download it, go to code, download the zip, you'll want to unpack it. And once you unpack it, you'll have this minus the audio, this is the file that I've added. And for ease of use, you may want to change the name and put it onto CD drive so you have easier access. Now I'll just copy the path. Because this is not used using the PowerShell, you have to use the CMD. Now for Olosaurus, you need to install Python, but this solution doesn't require any installation. What you'll want to do is simply go to start, or search, type in CMD. This window will open up. Now this puts you under C users and your PC name. You can also then type D. In my case, this is on the D drive. Then CD and the path to this folder. And now I'm inside this folder. So now let's go take a look at Drupal commands. Now I'll just use the basic ones and you have a lot of options that you can use. To run it, we'll simply type in this command, so I'll copy it. I'll leave the output as an output text, but the in file is audio.wave. So here you have the input file, it has to be a wave or an OGG. Now another option that you can use if you have silly words like this one, is to use this command and provide it with a script where you have all of the text inside. I won't be using any extra commands, I'll just use the basic one. Now this may take some time, so I'll come back when this is done. So this has finished, we can now close this. We have the output doc text. This is what it created, we have the timestamps and the letters. And this is a 4 minute long audio clip. So what do the letters mean? Well, basically they're like phonemes in the allosaurus, but in this case we have the mouth shapes. By default, all nine shapes are enabled, but you can disable the extended mouse shapes G, H, and X. Now I didn't do that, I just used the basic settings. But what you need to do is to have the names A through H and X to be in capital letters. I'll also provide this for you as a template, and you can use any extension that you want that is supported in DaVinci Resolve. So TIFF, PNG, JPEG, and maybe something else. I'll go to the edit page, put all of the images onto the timeline, and first I'll put them in the media pool. And if you watched the previous video on Allosaurus, you'll know why you have to do this. So just put them on the timeline, and basically we'll now export this timeline so that we get all of the image references and the names. So timeline, export, export as FCP XML, First I'll choose this as FCP XML 1.5 and call this mouth. That should be done. And I have it right here and I have the output. Now the next step is to use the piece of code that I've written. You can either use the Python if you have it installed. It's similar to the Olasaurus one. So this is the Python file that I've shown. You can run it in the PowerShell if you want to. But to make it easier for everyone, you can just double click on Rubberb DaVinci Resolve, you will get this comment prompt. So first input the FCP XML timeline, you don't need to put the extension, so in this case I'll just put in mouth. Then you need the output text file that converted the audio to the Rubberb file with the image names. So in this case you also don't need to put the extension, but this extension does need to be FCP XML and this one does need to be a text file. So I'll put in output. Now in the Allosaurus I didn't do this, but here you can actually specify the parameters for the position, scale, anchor, and the output file if you want to change it. So let's say yes, you can use the capital or a lowercase one, it doesn't matter, just use a Y or an N. So I'll use yes. I'll leave it as default, you can simply press enter here, scale the size, maybe I want 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Why this has two values is basically it's an X and Y position. 
so I'll scale it down and maybe change the position to 200 and 400 and this is the default file name but maybe I just want to use test and again you don't need to put any extensions the program simply closes and makes the test SCP XML file now if I open it now this is the file that it created these are all of the images that we have exported in DaVinci Resolve so we have the paths we have the file names and we have the references which are IDs and then we have the duration image name offset and the anchor and scale and position that we changed and this goes all the way to the end now let's test this out I've never done it so let's see how this will go so go to DaVinci Resolve let's make a new timeline well actually we just have to import it so timeline import so import the test timeline and you don't have to have the images already imported this can be done in a totally new project but the images do have to be in the same location when you exported the mouth timeline so now I'll import this one and let's give this one a name timeline 3 so it's done and I'll put in the audio just so we have something to compare it with put in the audio and I'll also add the background solid and change the color too well this is quite strange oh yeah because Ooh, look at the position so the position is way off so I've changed the zoom the scale that works fine the position doesn't I'd have to somehow fix that so I get that this is twice this value so I guess this is not in pixels but actually the percentages so this is a 1080p timeline so the position doesn't work as I wanted to and then the anchor probably also doesn't work as I would expect but I can simply test that around the program again let's set the anchor to 1010 I'll scale this down I'll put the default position now at 2020 or maybe let's use 30 create import a new timeline test one so let's see this got scaled down and this is now I guess the default value because double clicking doesn't reset it and this is basically as a 1080p timeline so this is 2030 and 108 is 10% of 1080 now as it stands I would only use the scale option because this one works like it should but the position and the anchor don't because the pixels that I've entered don't actually represent the pixels in the DaVinci Resolve so I'd have to recalculate that and if I do I'll update the program and let you know so I did some math and in 1080p I made it to work as you can see the values are the same but in this example for 4k the y-axis in the anchor as you can see is not the same now let's just see how this looks like hey jackals this video is a follow-up on the multiple subtitle video that I made a while back and in this video I'll show you step by step how to display multiple subtitles and how to make changes to the text easily in DaVinci Resolve 17 now let's get digital I think the default result is decent and you get it a lot quicker than using Allosaurus but the Allosaurus does have additional commands and I'll make a comparison in a future video between Allosaurus and Rhubarb now if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to get more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss my next video and to start making automatic lip sync animations in DaVinci Resolve simply go to the description below and download the files I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital!